50 years ago, this was a seaside village. Today, it's the capital city of the second largest economy in the GCC and the 40th in the world as of 2021. Oil wealth built much of Abu Dhabi. The UAE is one of the top 10 producers of oil and gas, and more than 95% of it lies here. About a third of the UAE's GDP is still dependent on the sale of hydrocarbons, but the government wants to change that, and fast. The country's new president, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, who took office after his older brother Khalifa died in May 2022, wants to diversify the economy into new areas, including knowledge and tech. Innovation is key to competition, the government believes, and the plan is taking shape right here in Abu Dhabi, where a graduate research university focused on AI opened two years ago. Named after the country's president, Mohammed bin Zayed University of Artificial Intelligence has around 250 students. It offers two-year master's degrees and PhDs in fields like machine learning, researching new ways of using AI in medicine. We are trying to help uh, medical doctors, yeah. not only to see in virtual reality what they are building, but also to feel it, to touch it. With the haptic device, we can go on top of it and then feel the force feedback. You want to try it? This is unbelievable. Yeah. It's actually, so, it's creating resistance. I can feel the resistance of the skin. And developing virtual humans that can engage in conversation. This is actually fully unsupervised. Yeah. So she's basically learning from a lot of data from the internet. Are you worried about inflation and higher oil prices? Yes, of course it is. It's depressing to know that our economy has no free lunch. It would be great if we can find an alternative energy source. This year, an important milestone, the university's very first graduation ceremony, introducing a new generation of homegrown AI experts in Abu Dhabi. Equally important for the UAE's economy, because the school believes AI could contribute as much as $320 billion to the region's economy by 2030. The man in charge here certainly knows a thing or two about AI. He's a professor of computer science and machine learning. He's taught at Stanford, Carnegie Mellon, and even Facebook. Let's go meet the university's first president, Eric Shing. AI will be a foundational technique that is uh, impacting all areas in economy, uh, either indirectly or directly. It is happening already. You know, it is more than an experiment. It is already in action. If I suddenly shut down all the AI services right now, people won't be able to live very comfortably. For example, you will Give be... Give me an example. For example, you will be losing your search engine. Right? Can't take that away from me, Eric. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at uh, Silicon Valley, Right, Silicon Valley is, uh, you know, a key outcome uh, from uh, uh, the contribution of a key university there, Stanford University, which uh, is uh, more than a university. It is a hub of uh, innovation. What we are trying to achieve here as a university is to create a similar effect. We want to transform this region into a knowledge-centric kind of a new economy and a new society and the university become the cornerstone of such a project.